Hey guys, so today I wanna to show you how to make my oil-free vegan pesto. It only requires one kitchen tool, which is the food processor, makes it super easy, and it doesn't require a lot of ingredients as you can see them here. So we'll go through how to make it. So the first ingredient is of course fresh basil. So we're gonna do a cup of that. So we're gonna put that into the food processor first. The next thing we're gonna do is instead of you know pine nuts, you can use pine nuts if you'd like, but I'm going to use a half a cup of cashews. These are just raw cashews. Very important ingredient here to make it that little bit of a cheesy flavor is nutritional yeast. So if you're not sure what nutritional yeast is, you can get it many different stores. Um, this is Bob's Red Mill nutritional yeast. Um, so that's a pretty popular brand that you'll probably find most places. And of course, one of my favorite ingredients is garlic. So this is two cloves of garlic. And because of who I am as a person, I also usually add a little bit of minced garlic. So this is just Trader Joe's brand, but you could get any brand of minced garlic. I'm just gonna use my finger here um, and put some minced garlic in there as well because you can never go wrong with too much flavor, right? For more, a little bit of more flavor, we're gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper. So this is just actually an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. And the final two ingredients. So firstly, we'll show you the half of a, juice from half of a lemon. So we're just using our nice little hand tool here, but you don't have to, you could use your hand if you really wanted to. I'm just gonna squeeze all the juice out of there. And the last ingredient is a flax egg. So you'd wanna use ground flax, flax meal. It's called a bunch of different things. You take two tablespoons of that and mix it with three to four tablespoons of water. You want a gel-like consistency. Um, you can kind of see that here. Whoops, I spilled a little bit. Uh, and you're gonna pour that in there. And what this does is it kind of holds the ingredients together, like an egg would hold the ingredients together in a recipe, but it's a flax egg instead. No animal products here. So now all we have to do is blend it up. So we're food processing it on high for as long as it takes to really get it that pesto consistency. We don't want it to be too chunky, um, but we still want it to have a little bit of a texture to it. So we're gonna blend it up. And sometimes you'll need to just scrape down the side. So I have this nice rubber spatula. I'm just gonna scrape down the sides, probably food process it for a little bit longer, and then it's done. All right, so let me show you what it will look like. It's a nice pesto sauce. So that's what it looks like there for you. It has that little bit of a yellow color from the nutritional yeast has of course the green from the basil and it smells amazing. Uh, my favorite way to use it, I have two favorite ways to use it. One of them I just posted on Instagram, so if you wanna check that out, you can look in the link in the description. But the other way I like to use it is I like to make homemade gnocchi and then I put it on that and it's really good that way. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Please let me know if you try it out. You can comment below on any ideas that you're looking for or any recipes you're looking for or any information that you want to know about nutrition. And I will see you in the next video.